اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سب حسم ربک الاعلی الحمدللہ تنک اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی for another opportunity to learn something new something interesting on our previous episodes we have painted sunsets and uh, oceans rivers mountains alhamdulillah like the whole landscape the whole universe we have painted it so it's matter of time now we praise allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we do some writings on the calligraphy we learn a thing or two from what we have learned on painting we apply it on our canvas then we learn how to write some few words common words in in a form of calligraphy and we'll use the font that we learned earlier the kufi font to write the following words that we are going to to use today inshallah ta'ala so you'll just need blue black white and yellow then you are set to proceed with me in this journey on my canvas i have divided it into three sectors as you can see with the masking tape so we are going to paint um bismillah mashallah and subhanallah that's why we have three different sects on my canvas you should do that with a masking tape it's not a must for the sizes to be equal some part can be bigger than the other there's nothing wrong with that you remember the puzzle we did on season one we are going to use the same puzzle then inshallah we will write the name once we have completed painting bismillahir rahmanir rahim i'll start with blue So I hope you remember a thing or two about the Kufi font. I hope now you are more familiar to it. Whenever you walk around and you see some writings in a square form or in a block form, remember that that is the Kufi font. There are several There are several scripts of the Holy Quran that you will find in different museums around the world written in kufi font like in masr egypt saudi arabia and alhamdulillah they used to they used to be creative in writing using the kufi font some of the images as you can see uh, as you will find them in these museums are written in gold gold fonts of mashallah which is very pretty some pink some red all this in an effort to preserve the holy quran and uh, to make the holy quran interesting and beautiful so whenever you travel around the world you 
for example, in Turkey, in Saud, or in Masr, if you have the time, or even on Google, you can Google and you will find what we are talking about. So I'm applying a layer of very liquid blue, then we'll use a service to bring about an effect on the canvas. Once it dries, you will see what I was intending to do there. So we'll go to the second box. We'll use yellow. These are my favorite colors. You can use your favorite colors. It's not a must you copy what I'm using. I told you why I like yellow. Those people say it makes you hungry. <laughs> and uh, I like blue because of the sky. I'm a boy. I won't use pink. But we have the freedom to use it if you can remember how to mix pink, then you can use it. Once you're done, you do the same format as we did on blue. Soviet. I've used white. Here I didn't use white. Yeah, I've used white so that we get the same pattern or texture with the previous one. Next color I'll use is black. Yeah, I was serious, not using pink. But you have so many options. You can use brown, purple, I hope it's fun. I hope you're enjoying. These are beautiful colors mentioned in the Holy Quran. We learned that on season one. And even in future, there will be a program. There's a program coming on our channel. One of our Sheikhs will be talking about colors in the Holy Quran. So it will be also very interesting because he'll talk in much more detail than what we were doing in season one. Ours was just meant for the beginners and lovers of art, but that one will be a general topic for all viewers. Make sure you don't miss out on that. Even me, I'll be glued to the TV to learn a thing or two from our teachers.
لا I'll do the same I have a couple of circuits here Don't be afraid, press it till you get the texture that you prefer. So we'll let it dry, then we'll untape it. Now canvas has dried. Bismillah. This is fun. You can actually try this in your room or in your house. Mashallah, that because you can see the texture I wanted popping up. It's not a plain pattern. We have some whitish all over the puzzles thanks to the help of our servants so next i will use a smaller brush a clean brush to write the words the wordings allah subhanahu wa ta'ala several verses asks people to glorify his name to mention his name and it's for our own benefits if you say Bismillah, it's for your own benefit. Because it means you are doing anything or something in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in this part, I will use um, color on the shade of yellow. I will use color red to write on there. Then on blue. I will write with color black. Then on black, inshallah, we'll see what we'll use, but not pink. We'll use white. Bismillah. So let's start with red to write Bismillah. So interesting fact about Bismillah. Before the beginning of every surah in the Holy Quran, you'll find Bismillah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Except in one surah, Surah Al Tawbah, there is no Bismillah at the beginning. But in Surah Al Naml, you'll find another verse at the middle of Surah Al Naml saying Bismillah, Innahu min Sulaiman, or Innahu Bismillah. So. Alhamdulillah, there is Bismillah all over the Qur'an. So we'll use the Kufi font to write Bismillah. Just a simple Bismillah for a beginner to learn and to write, to use it at home. So there goes the block for Ba. Ba. A block for seeing. I hope you are following. Let's put a dot here so that we don't forget. A second block for seeing. The third block for seeing. Then the meme.
So here you can decide if you want it to go down, if you want it to go straight, that's up to you. That's your creativity, it's calligraphy and art. So mine is going down. This me. Then Alif for Allah. Then the first block of lamb. So before you eat, you say Bismillah. Before you step out of your door, of your house, Bismillah. So Bismillah is everywhere for Muslims. Everything you do, do it in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there goes the block for the hair. yellow and uh, red this is simple of car that you can say during the day, during the night. It won't cost you many hours to just say Bismillah or MashaAllah. No. Only a few seconds. And you will have plenty, plenty of rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, Bismillah. Let's do MashaAllah. So we start with meme. I hope you can see it. So Alif for him. Ma. Then Shin. First block. Second block. And Alif. On the third block, then our three dots. You can put the first dot here, and Hamza. There goes the Hamza. We will write Allah here since you don't have enough space here. Insha'Allah. Now it's easy to write Allah because we've written it several times now. I'm using a flat brush. Make sure you're using the same flat brush. There goes, mashallah. In Surah 2. In Surah Tul Kaf, you will find the word mashallah. 
The next word we are going to write is Subhanallah. So we'll start with Sin. Now goes the bar. There goes her. So, Surah Al-A'la, Allah tells us to sabbih. Sabbih, it to say, Subhanallah. Also, in Surah Al-Isra, Allah starts the Surah by saying, Subhanallah. So, these words, you'll find them in the Holy Quran. So whenever you say these words, it's like you're uttering the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah. This should be easy to write Allah. And there goes Subhanallah. So we have Bismillah, MashaAllah, and Subhanallah in one canvas, on a canvas, MashaAllah. That's pretty, that's interesting. And that's also easy to do at home. You see, the beauty with Kufi font, and it's because it's easy to write it, once you get the formula of writing, you apply it on on whatever word you want to write. For example, the name Allah has guided us that with the blocks you can write sin, you can write the ba, you can write the ha. MashaAllah, that's good and it's interesting. So whenever you come across some words that are in Kufi calligraphy but are difficult for you to read, it's because now the artist has become more creative. He has become more an, an artist because you know, if the word is pretty tough for you to read, it does the same words, but he has mixed them, uh, make them more creative. And make, that's why it's hard for you to read. But that's the beauty of art. You have the access and there's nothing limited or constrained for you to do so. You can do it. If you, if you have time, go and Google, mashallah, in Kufic font, you'll see varieties of them then try and copy from what they have done. You can do the same with Subhanallah. You'll find a variety on what they have written, the artists. Try to, to imitate and copy what they have done. And with time, you will become more and more um, used to the Kufic fonts. Don't forget also to Google some of the Quranic uh, scripts written in... Uh, in Kufic font, the ones that are, are in museums. It will be also good for you to know and to witness how they used to write the Quran using the Kufic font. It's interesting. This will be the end of our lesson today, of our episode. And inshallah, on our next episode, there won't be any more painting. We'll switch to something else much more creative and fun for kids at home and also parents to do. I hope you are enjoying. I hope you have learned a thing today. And I hope also we will meet on our next episode. Shukran wa jazakumullahu khair wa billahi tawfiq.